Okay, backgrounds and page styles are an important part of bringing your book to life. They're an important part of layout, the stuff that goes on behind the images and the text. Now, uh, first of all, we have here a double page spread, pages three and four, and they're both white, which can work for some kind of books, maybe a wedding photography book, you know, it could work quite well. But what if you wanted to color these pages, separate colors are the same color? Well, this can be done. If you go to your properties panel and you click on your page properties here, this gives you the option to color the left or right page of your book. Now at the moment they're on white. If you click inside the color box, you get a selection of colors to choose from. So you could choose maybe brown for your left page. And again, if you click on the right box, you get the same amount of colors. If you wanted a specific color that wasn't in this menu here, if you go to other, it brings up a color wheel that allows you to select any shade or hue of color you want to and click OK. And that's how you color pages. OK, so the next stage on from adding color to your pages is adding a background to your pages. So if you navigate down to these tabs here and click on the backgrounds tab, you'll see that you have a bunch of presets that come complete with the software that you can draw upon. Now, if you want to add any of these backgrounds to your book, in the same way that you would drag and drop from your picture bank onto your page, you can do the same here with the backgrounds. So, for example, if you were to click on the jean, hold and then drag, you get an indicator here telling us that we can drop this on the left hand page. If we hover over the right hand page, we get another indicator telling us that we can drop this on the right hand page. But if we hover in the center of both pages, we get a further indicator telling us that we can drop this on both pages at the same time. So if you let go of your mouse button and this background has been applied, again, you can apply different backgrounds to different pages if you want to. Or you can choose one of these pre-made spread backgrounds and drag this over both. And it's as easy as that to add backgrounds. You can, of course, add your own backgrounds to the uh, to your book. If you go down to the backgrounds tab and click on this button here, click add, go to a folder where images exist, find one you quite like. I've named this background, but you can name yours whatever you want to and click open. It gives you one more chance to name it. I'm still happy, so I want to click OK. And it populates your backgrounds tab with your photograph or your, or your image. So you can click and drag from your backgrounds tab onto your page and it applies this background. Now the next stage to look at is page styles. Now page styles are a very powerful part of the software because they allow you to quickly arrange text and image. And then if you want to at a later stage, save them as your own presets. The software comes with a number of presets anyway, just to get you started. So if we were to click on anniversary and add this to the page, let's just analyze what this has done. First we can see it's added a background. It's also added some text boxes and some image boxes, which of course you can add to. And change the text. And you can even change the background if you want to. So if we go back to our backgrounds tab and we navigate to the background we just imported, click and drag over both pages, and you can see what it's done here. It's added the background for us. Now you can also change all the dimensions. You can add your own image boxes, which you can place anywhere you want to. Now, if you're very happy with this quite anarchic looking layout, you want to keep this for future projects, that's easy to do. If you go back to your page styles tab and you click on this button here, you can either save the left page as a page style, the right page or the entire spread. I want to save the entire spread. I'm going to name this doggy and click OK. And as you can see, it's added that preset now to my page styles tab, which I can use again and again in many different projects.